exact problem of plastic in ocean is this. Now you come to the plastic graveyard here in the ocean. The washed up remains of a throwaway society. Now you see the enormity of the problem. This isn't litter that's been dropped on the beach. It's come in from the sea, recklessly thrown away, distributed on the currents, and then swept ashore. This is the most dangerous, the blue one. It's a single-use plastic. And this, if it gets down, you had it. This is all in the mall. This is from the mall. From People, the shopping mall. Shopping mall. This is so prevalent in Indian shopping mall. Afros inspired the world's biggest ever beach clean. Once a week, volunteers clear what they can, knowing full well that the next tide will lay a new carpet of plastic. So the ocean throws it up. Ocean pukes out every two months, three months, you know. And if you don't clean it, it will get piled on, piled on, piled on. It's just not convenient for the fishes and the marine creatures and marine birds, you know. It's their house. It's, it's there where they belong, they live, they survive. They're crying for justice because we have messed up with their houses. Worldwide, the equivalent of one rubbish truck of plastic waste is being dumped into the ocean every minute. By 2050, the trash in the sea is likely to weigh more than all of the fish. This is the debris of modern life, almost all of it single-use plastic. A bag used for a few minutes to take the shopping home a straw used for seconds to drink some juice and thrown away with little regard for what happened to it and now being brought back in on the tide. Marine litter is a worldwide problem. This is the River Thames. Once the plastic reaches the North Sea, it'll begin to break down into tiny fragments over many decades, but it never completely disappears. The tiny pieces are called microplastic. It's eaten by sea creatures and ends up in our food. This portion of Marcus contains about 90 uh, particles of plastic. This scientist carried out the first comprehensive risk assessment shown exclusively to Sky News, which suggests that the microplastic can be absorbed into our bloodstream. His research shows that by the end of the century, as many as 4,000 tiny fragments a year could build up in the body. I've asked many physicians, colleagues, professors and, and so on, what does microplastic, what could microplastic do when it gets into our blood system? Uh, and the blunt answer was, we don't know. So we don't know, but in principle they could accumulate. What I think they could do, what was suggested by physicians, is that perhaps they could accumulate around joints or, or, or certain types of tissue and cause inflammation there. The plastic is already proving fatal for some marine creatures. This bird has died slowly. It's, 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 there's no fat remaining. These are fulmers that have been found dead on the beach. The post-mortem on the stomach isn't for the squeamish. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. I'm not sure what it is, but we'll see. So you can see there's a lot of plastic in here. Goodness me. So it is just a, full of plastic. Yeah, so this gizzard is basically full of plastic. With so much plastic blocking its system, the bird wouldn't have felt hungry and probably starved to death. It's suffering from our mistakes and uh, it, it's, it's a disgrace for mankind, I think, to, that you find this in animals. Cleaned and carefully laid out, this is the inventory of the bird's gizzard. 18 pieces of plastic weighing half a gram. Scaled up to a human, that's a lunchbox of trash. I would not like my son to have this in his stomach. Our waste, recklessly disposed of, is in the ocean food chain and it's coming back to haunt us. Thomas Moore, Sky News, 